All right guys, what's up, Hello Bass here, and we are gonna do an unboxing video. We don't do a lot of unboxing videos, but we're gonna do one today, and it should be pretty good. All right, the reason for today's unboxing, or the reason I got some tackle, is I'm gearing up for my trip to Louisiana, the Wachita River, coming up real soon, and I'm trying to get the boat organized and getting a few new baits. So I got kind of a big box here with some cool stuff in it, and then I got a little, little refill package from my friends over at Omnia Fishing. Let's dig in and check it out. Most of the things that I open today, I'll have down links in the description below. If you find anything interesting, uh, if you shop through those links, you'll help the channel. Much appreciated. Now let's get into it. Big box first. Grab the Arsenal scissors. Pop this bad boy open. Beautiful September day. Fall's coming. Got some void fill here. All right. So let's see. Should we start with the organization or the tackle? All right. So the main reason I made this order was to grab some of these Flambo Z-Rust boxes. So this one and this one, and I actually got two of these. I really like these boxes. I'm not a big fan of spending 20, 30, $50 on a tackle box to organize my tackle. I know some of you like it. Some of it's your jam, some of it's your OCD, but for me, it doesn't make sense. I have never caught a bass or any fish on a tackle box before. I have some minimum requirements for tackle boxes. One. They're sturdy, they got good latches, they don't fall apart. And I like the ones that have the, the Z-Rust or the VCI, uh, the corrosion inhibitors in there. So these ones are impregnated, the dividers, these blue dividers right here, these help protect against corrosion. For me, best bang for the bucks, these flambles. There's some other good ones out there, but I really like these ones. I'll probably label these up. Uh, one of them's gonna be medium diving crankbaits, like DT10 type stuff. Another one is going to be for my flat sides, and this is going to be for my like wake bait minus one type stuff. So I'm trying to get a little more organized, so I can be a little more modular, take stuff out that I don't need, put it in, keep the boat running fast and lean and shallow. So that's what these are all about. Let me know down below if you love those like $40, $50 super expensive, like to me, they don't get much tackle in them. They're super expensive and you end up getting more of them. I just don't get it. I'd rather spend my money on a rod or a reel or baits than on tackle boxes. But if you disagree, let me know in the comments. If you agree with me, go ahead and tap that like button. It's much appreciated. The other things I got, a little more exciting here. I got a couple of these black label balsa baits. These are the Rec Juniors uh, Chartreuse Black Back and Chartreuse Magic. These baits are, I'm super excited about to be throwing these down south, square bills, cypress trees. Uh, these are supposed to be modeled after the Zoom WC1, so I'm going to be checking them out. I got a couple of the Zoom baits, but I wanted to uh, get some backup. We're going to try Old Cliff Pace's custom balsa cranks and uh, see if they work. But I'm pretty excited. They look pretty good. They got some nice hooks on them. Overall, pretty jacked to try these down in the swamplands uh, of the Watchtow River. So moving on to our Omnia box. All right, most of this is for the Watchtower River as well. We got our note from our good friends at Omnia. I always love to get a note. This one says, thank you for the order, enjoy. Well, that'd be a spoiler, we're not gonna tell you. So the first thing I got here, more paper, but I actually got some Trilene Big Game 20 pound line. Most of my fishing, fluorocarbon braid, I use a little bit of mono, but down on this next trip, I'm gonna be fishing a lot of shallow water. I'll be cranking, spinner baiting, dirty shallow water, and I'm gonna want these baits to ride high in the water column, get out of snags, come over stuff, dirt shallow. Mono is gonna be my jam. Might be catching fish on super short precision roll casts, short lining them, want a little shock absorber. Not really worried about line diameter. I've got some 15 pound big game. I wanted to get some 20 pound big game and also I got some 17 pound mono. I'm gonna be switching a few rods from fluorocarbon over to mono and experiment with that on this trip down south, but I'm kind of excited. This is like, Big square bills, spinner baits, things like that. Be testing out this 20 pound along with some of those other line diameter copolys. And you can't go down south and fish cypress trees without some good spinner baits. I've got spinner baits. A lot of my spinner baits are more like grass spinner baits and things like that. Uh, I want a little bit heavier wire spinner baits, some little bigger stuff. And I kind of wanted something a little different. I want with these compact bass mans, and I wanted these turtle willow blades that 
kind of would be a hybrid. And I figure these are a unique spinnerbait, and I expect a lot of my competition will be throwing spinnerbaits down there. But I want something that I was confident in, that was strong enough, that I could rely on, that catches fish, good components, yet maybe something a little different than the standard stuff that everybody else is throwing to give a slightly different profile, a slightly different vibration, and highly pressured waters. I think that these little turtle willow blades just might be the deal uh, along with that Colorado and a chartreuse white works everywhere we go, especially in the fall. And then lastly, I got two more in kind of a bluegill color, the compact design as well, uh, the Kill Gill 3 8 ounce tandem. If the water ends up being a little cleaner, but if not, I'm probably gonna be throwing them in a derby this weekend home in Minnesota. Not a ton of stuff. I got some shallow cranks. I got some spinner baits. I got some more stuff to organize my boat in these tackle boxes because overall, I'm trying to be more organized. I shifted to the Arsenal Battalion bags for soft plastics, things like that. I'm trying to be a whole lot more organized in my boat. Hope you enjoyed this quick unboxing video. If you like unboxing videos, make sure you check out this video coming up right here.